Hey, this is Tracy with Color Me This. I am on episode 45, and today I am going to discuss grayscale printing on printers. I will also share a little bit about my particular printer. Uh, it is a printer that I've owned now. This is my third year owning it, and I think that it really ticked some big boxes for me, and the things that it can do I didn't even know about until very recently. So I bought this printer. It is called an Epson Workforce. I think it's called a Workforce. ET2760, and it is an eco tank. That's what the ET is for. So it has bottles that are the four, the three colors, YMC, and then black. So I've owned it for going on three years now, and my black is down to 50%, a little over 50%, maybe 60%. And then my three other colors are three quarters full. The only problem I've had with this printer is that I generally use it for business printing, which is mostly black and white, as well as coloring pages, which are black and white, or more recently grayscale, because I've been playing with that, which I will demo today. And so the nozzles do get clogged. So when it clogs, I've had to clean it a few times. So what I have been reading is that the best thing to do to make sure the printer stays healthy is to print in color like a couple times a week. So out of curiosity, I went ahead and installed what's called Epson iPrint on my Samsung phone which I can't show you because it's doing the filming and I didn't think about grabbing Hub's phone to film this. So the iPrint app allows you to take a photo and just hit the print on it and it, it, you just print it. So I just have done a few. Here is the one I want to show you. This is regular old copy paper and I am very impressed that the printer printed out this detailed print of what we call, his, this is the mayor. He is the largest gator in our community. Again, we live in a nature preserve. There are 26 lakes. We do stock them with fish to help with the uh, pecking order of animals being able to stay here and live here. So the mayor here is over 12 feet long and he is very large. And we, we have, we predict that he's around 65 years old. So this is on what's called Doe Lake, which is where well, there's a pair of lakes kind of off to the side. This is a golf green up here. And there, that is the hole right there. That's the flag for the hole. So people get pretty close to the gators, but for the most part, the gators mind their business and, um, and we mind ours. So this is Doe Lake and right next to it is a much larger lake called Buck Lake. And that's where we normally see the mayor at. So I've just hit the print button and this is what it does without any settings set. Uh, and this is what I'm going to be doing is picking up an image, probably a nature image from somewhere in the park when we ride our bikes so that I can keep the nozzles clear and not clogged. Um, but what I wanted to share with you, this is probably something that most printers today will have the capability of, and that is printing grayscale. So from the book that I shared in the mini haul called Cats and Quilts, uh, my favorite cat. So Hub had, he had a Maine Coon. Well, I had two Siamese cats um, that I, the second one I loved dearly. Her name was Blue. So this is somewhat Siamese-ish, and that's how I'm going to color it. Uh, but I wanted to get it printed. So I played with the settings on my uh, scanner. There are two settings that I can adjust in my scanning part of the interface. And it's a digital interface and you have to click through so it's a little bit kludgy but still pretty clean and easy to make adjustments. And here I've got the best quality so it's going to have the most pixels when it prints. It's an inkjet printer. And then there is a second setting called density that is a 10 point scale. And this is density of two. And this is density of eight. 
And if you look at the flowers specifically, that is a good area where you can see that the density, here's the, the darkest shading of the flower. The second darkest shading of the flower is much lighter on the density two than the density eight. And then of course the top of the flower has no shading at all. And the shading is pretty true to the original image. I would say that the density of eight is a little bit darker as well as the grayscale is a little more brown or warm than the grayscale in the book itself. And the density two is the closest match and it's pretty darn close to the, the density of ink in the original. Okay, so best and the densities. Then we have standard. And evidently I have mixed up or lost standard density two. Let's see if I, so now let's compare standard density two to standard density eight. And you see a quite a big difference here where the gray scale on the flower here on the right, which is density eight, is much darker than the density of ink on the right. So with my goal of printing coloring pages with not as much lineage, I want the least amount of lines possible. I want to use draft, so this is draft, and here's density two and density eight. And notice at this point, you are seeing actual lines because it's it's choosing to not print every single line of pixels. And you can see the lines here when you compare density eight of draft to density two of standard. So I have been very happy with printing this draft amount and density too. But all of this is to say that you should explore your printer. And the, there are a lot of eco tanks now just before this video. For the video, I went ahead and printed, I just looked through staples and they have 30% off their printers. I'm not a an affiliate for staples in any way, so I don't get any kickback, but I have been very happy with staples. We purchased, the two places we like to purchase electronics from is Best Buy and Staples, and they have treated us very well, both companies over the years. And uh, be sure if you want to use your printer for coloring, coloring pages or printing coloring pages, if you're going to do a lot, definitely consider the EcoTank. And most of them are internet networkable. I can be anywhere I want and hit the print my phone, as long as my phone is on uh, the network. Then there's another capability that I have through Epson. And that is that I have an address, an email address that I designate for my printer that I can be anywhere in the world and print to my printer from anywhere on my phone or whatever device, if I have my laptop with me, I just send my printer an email to its address and it will print for me. So that concludes episode 45. Uh, if you have any questions about printing or printers and how I get the printouts the way I want them, uh, do let me know. I will say that the 80 pound is about the thickest. I have a direct pass through on my printer. There is a version of this printer that is significantly more expensive. I think it's $399 and it can print up to 1.5 millimeter thick material, which is crazy. Another thing that people do use these printers for is they don't fill them with the eco, eco tank ink. They fill them with sublimation ink and use them to print sublimation, which I used to years ago make t-shirts and garments. And I had a special uh, process that I used, but if I were doing this today, uh, if, you're, if I was okay with light colored garments, like white, very light colored, I could explore sublimation 
with a this line of printers. So that's all I've got. Be sure to like, care, share, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.